Hi guys, thank you for clicking on the video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how I got this look right chia. This is a get ready with me style video. I did my makeup. I did these fun rhinestones. Um, I love that this has kind of turned into a fun trend. So I did these just a little bit. I kind of, I was dipping my toes in the rhinestone game, not like full force going for it because I had no idea if I would like it or not, but I actually really like them. Um, so I'm excited and I think we're either going to go to dinner or we're going to go out in the city, um, maybe with some friends. So we'll see. We'll figure it out. Please go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. I would really appreciate it. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. We are gonna get started. This is a get ready with me. Um, I'm going on date night. I don't think we're gonna be doing anything outside. The skies are like pretty gray today. I don't see it getting any better. So we are gonna figure something out. We'll probably end up maybe going to like dinner and a comedy show or something fun. Um, but I'm going to get ready. I actually wanna do a super fun look all over my Instagram, which I will have like linked down here somewhere if you guys want to go ahead and follow me um i post stories on there i post videos pictures inspirational quotes um so yeah if you want to go ahead and follow me i'd love to interact with you guys over there give you a follow back so the brows are done the eyes are primed and we're gonna go in with the dose of colors friend cation palette i love this palette it is like one of my favorites i'm definitely gonna buy a new one because i'm already hitting pan on these two shades, which funny enough, we're going to be using today. Um, this palette's awesome. It's honestly my favorite palette that came out in 2019, right? Yeah, this just came out in 2019. It's a bomb palette. Um, so if you have chance to pick it up, highly recommend it. But I'm going to go ahead and start with a Morphe M441, which is just like a big fluffy brush. I'm going to go into the shade Basic which is this one. It's the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm just gonna kind of work that into my crease area. I'll zoom you in for the rhinestone portion of the video. That way you guys can kind of see me applying them. Just adding a little bit of definition into my eye since I have a slightly smaller eye. It's not cold yet actually, so it's supposed to be fall, but um, it's like not really fall weather yet, I guess. And I live near Chicago, so I mean, not the coldest yet, you know. I mean, global warming, so. Here we are, pretty soon the whole seasons are just gonna be reversed. I think, honestly, it's just gonna, winter is gonna go into June, and fall or summer is going to go into November, December, winter's gonna start late. Like, I just think all of the seasons are just getting so messed up from our impact on this world. It's totally insane um, and the, the environment is kind of is one thing that I'm very passionate about um, I really care about my impact I care about our impact I care about what it's gonna be like for my future children if I have kids my grandkids you know um, everything we do affects them and it's crazy that we are so selfish and just don't care and we don't think about the lasting impacts on the ozone layer, on the earth, on um, plants and bugs and animals and it's just, um, it's really really sad how harmful we are to this world. Honestly, if you guys want me to create a video on how to um, be more environmentally conscious, I so would. This last year of my life I have done so much research. I have invested in reusable items like glass water bottles. I, I don't buy plastic bottles or anything anymore. Like I'm very, I, I really have changed my habits completely. I would love to create a video for you guys. If that's something you're interested in, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. I will absolutely create that video. I'll include some of the things that I have purchased like as examples for where you guys could get stuff. I can link stuff in the bio of that video, but I would love to create a video and just kind of explain and share some facts with you guys so you don't have to spend a year of searching on Google um, as to what your environmental impact is. So I'm taking the shade Necessary and I am buffing it into my crease but not taking it too high up. So I already did this eye, 
gonna go ahead and get started on this one. So I'm using a fluffy brush. I could go in with a smaller brush because I have smaller eyes. I don't have like beautiful big eyes like a lot of um, beauty people I see. Like Rob Beauty Christy, her eyes are awesome. Like she just has big lid space and I would give anything to have that. And like Kathleen Lights, same for her. Um, I just wasn't blessed that way. So my eyes are a little bit smaller so I just have a different shape to work with but small eyes matter too okay you guys if you have small eyes don't feel bad about it don't feel self-conscious um there's so many beautiful hooded eyes um nikki tutorials has beautiful eyes Alyssa ashley has beautiful eyes and they have they definitely have more hooded eyes than me so i'm not complaining i'm just letting you guys know how i function and how i'm going to work with the space that i have their makeup by mario or makeup by Ariel showed this technique of kind of bringing the shadow like up to the eyebrow. I think it was Ariel and um, totally makes a difference. I just kind of feel like it completes the look and it almost, I think for me, for my eye shape, I almost think it just kind of like opens up my eye more because I'm bringing the shadow to here and kind of getting it close to my brow. It's almost making my, my crease look like it's deeper than it really is and kind of giving the illusion that my eyes are bigger. That is technically fall. I am like fall ready for everything. I mean, I'm wearing white, but you know, um, like I'm ready for sweaters and coffee and pumpkin. Oh, speaking of, I'll get to that. But I'm, I'm so just ready for fall stuff, you know, like booties and ripped jeans with sweaters and like comfy clothes and all that stuff. But I am so not ready for what happens after fall in the state that I live in. Winter. I have never lived somewhere warm and I'm sick of it. I hate winter. I want to move. Um, so if you guys follow me along in my journey, you may see me end up somewhere else because um, I'm sick of winter. My boyfriend is definitely sick of winter as well. We are not made for cold states. There's some people that love it. They just love like, the cold. I like the change of season. I'm just so not a winter person. So that's the that on that. Basically taking a Morphe M139 and I'm using the shade Teens, which is the dark brown in this palette. Super, super pretty. It's like, it's my favorite dark brown ever. And I'm just going to go into that outer V area and I'm just going to deepen it up a little bit. just a kiss it's this shade I use it so so much it's got like the most beautiful reflex and tapping over where I put the concealer I love this flipping shade it is so so pretty so reflective it's like look at that it's so pretty Change of plans, I am going to actually do the rest of my face first because I want to put some rhinestones um, near my lower lash line and I don't want to have to like go in and redo the whole thing. My favorite foundation ever is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, I'm mixing two shades though because I'm kind of like in between. When I'm at my darker self tan, I can use 3W1. Um, and then when I really don't have like any self tan on, I'm at 2 in one So because I'm kind of in that like in between phase, I'm just gonna mix both of them. This foundation is so good. It's like for sure um, one of the only foundations that I have really found actually like doesn't transfer. Like this, this foundation truly like really does its job at staying on my face and not transferring. And I also honestly just think my skin looks so good with this foundation on. I love it. I think it's just a bomb ass foundation and no oh my god I didn't put any primer on whatever it just like smooths out your skin it makes it look even and nice and I'm super 
super oily. Like you could cook bacon on my face because it gets so greasy sometimes. It's, it's oily, it's oily, that's what it is. So I always go for a more matte foundation and that's actually one of the videos I'm gonna be making soon is my favorite foundations for oily skin and tell you specifically why not just be like oh yeah this foundation is good no i'm gonna like explain to you why i think it's good and why i love how it wears on my face because i am oily and acne prone and i know that there's a lot of other people out there that are oily and acne prone um so i figured i would kind of step in and give you my advice as to what is a good foundation for your skin. There was a period of time where I didn't use Twitter or really um, much social media. So Twitter I feel like kind of died and then I don't know if it came back or it's just like I started using it again. But um, yeah, Twitter, guys, is so funny. Like there are so many clever people out there that like make funny memes and make funny gifts and I just, it like makes me wish that I could be that funny, but I'm so not. Um, but I love like going on Twitter and just watching like and seeing what people say about certain things. And I think like the funniest thing right now is the Area 51 thing. So if you guys don't know about it, um, which I'm sure you do, but I'm sure there's people that might be watching this that's like, what the heck is Area 51? Or like, why does anyone care about Area 51 right now? So Area 51 is like, I guess like one of the most, and I could be wrong on, on my details of this, I guess it's like one of the most classified government areas of the US, I think. I think it's in Nevada. I'm pretty sure it's in Nevada. Google Area 51, you'll see it's like Area 51 is the common name of a highly classified United States Air Force facility located within the Nevada Test and Training Range. Officially, the facility is called Homie Airport or Groom Lake, named after the salt flat situated next to its airfield. I don't know why people got so obsessed with Area 51. Conspiracy theories like that's where they keep the aliens and that's where like they have all of the UFOs that have been around and they're all hidden. Um, so it's basically just like a bunch of conspiracy theories, but all these people, like I think over like, two million or something people. I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in medium 20, and then the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in medium beige. Um, but yeah, apparently just like a bunch of people were like very serious about raiding Area 51 because everybody's like, you know, it's a hidden area and like we wanna see the aliens and I don't know, just all this funny stuff. So guys, people literally went to Area 51 and like camped out, obviously they didn't go in because the government said like, don't come in, we're basically gonna shoot you because like this is a classified area, you can't be here. And so people went in like these hilarious, funny, um, like alien costumes made out of aluminum and like just like the stuff online, you guys, it's cracking me up like how funny people are. But it also has, has me thinking supposedly former people that worked in Area 51 that said that they knew that they had like UFOs that had landed there. And, um, so it just got me thinking like, what is Area 51? You know, why is it so classified? Like people were like, that's where Tupac is, that's where Michael Jackson is, like all this stupid stuff, like all these, you know, celebrities that have, that kind of died suddenly. Um, you know, everybody's just, it's so funny if you like look online, like what people are saying about it. But it also got me thinking like, do you guys believe in conspiracy theories there's so many out there you know like th there's so many stupid ones which are really sad and and um and silly like there's a bunch of silly ones but there's also kind of some that make sense like if you actually look into these conspiracy theories they're kind of funny well area 51 thing is just i mean it's cracking me up because i think it's hilarious i think it's so funny that people are so invested in it are aliens real do aliens exist like I, so my personal belief, to be honest, it's not that I think aliens exist, but I do believe there's other life form, right? Like, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Loose Setting Powder in Banana. I flipping love this powder. And guys, it's huge. Like, look at it compared to my head. Love the, like, smoothness it makes my, um, it gives my pores. Oh, back to the aliens. For I totally totally believe that there's other life out there like 
there's no way we have this big galaxy and there's no one else. Like, we can't be. We can't be the only ones, right? Take, like, God out of it. Take whatever, whatever your belief is out of it. You know, like, just think about, like, other planets, other galaxies. Like, what are the odds that we are true? I'm stop recording and I'm not sure where it was at. But basically, I'm just saying I believe that there is other life form out there. I think there's no way we have all of these planets and we're the only ones. And honestly, I'm going to link the video down below that I just watched. The Navy, like this was on CNN, um, they released a YouTube video. The Navy came out and confirmed, not like, oh yeah, it might be, no, like they confirmed that there is footage from one of like the Air Force, uh, were in a, um, they were in a flight and they caught it on camera, like a picture or video basically of like a random object that was kind of like floating flat and then just like bolted up. No equipment that we have or like flight um, equipment or anything that we have has the capacity to do that. So it's like we knew it wasn't, a, wasn't one of our own, but so they basically confirmed like Yes, it's a UFO, but they don't call it a UFO, UFO, like something random. But basically, a plane or a little jet or like a speck of dust or something. Like they, they said, like, yes, it's some sort of foreign flying object and we don't know what it is. Which is crazy. Like, that was on the news, like talked about and everything. Oh, I'm just bronzing with my Fenty bronzer in Private Island. Long story short, I totally believe that there is some sort of other life form out there. What other life is out there? You know, like I'm so fascinated with finding this out. So let me know, like, are you guys interested in this? Do you believe in aliens? Do you believe in any of this stuff? Am I crazy? Don't answer that, but I might be. You guys, this is like the most bomb bronzer. I'm hating pan on it and I'm very sad, but I flippin' love this bronzer. It lasts all day it stays on and i just think it's a very the shade i love private island it's like a good warm bronzer but it's not like too warm where it's orangey but it's not so neutral that it's gray i just i really really like it and then it's brightening and it just like makes your skin look super soft like i'll come closer to the camera so you guys can actually see look how soft it makes my skin look and i don't have the most perfect skin like I have pores I have texture I have um, unevenness but it's just like a very very flattering powder so I have banana they do have a translucent and they have darker shades too for other skin tones which I love I think everybody should do that um, so I like the banana shade for my skin tone but if you want something translucent um, I just love how brightening it makes my under eyes I just think it kind of makes me look awake and alive um, now I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Lush. I believe this is the shade Why Hello or Hello There. Why Hello or Hello There? Something with Hello in it. So I like to take my blush and start kind of blending into my contour first. As you can see, I really like to kind of start in the back because, so my face shape, if you're looking at me head on, I have a more round and kind of big face so like I have a bigger forehead so I like to contour a little bit to kind of make it look a little bit smaller and my cheeks are a little bit bigger so if I put my blush like boop boop like right on the apples of my cheeks it's a recipe for disaster because when I smile like I have big cheeks already so if I do that it's just gonna enhance them which I don't need I really like to start with blending it into my contour so I go back. So that's how I apply my blush. I know everybody's different, but I do it based on my the shape of my face. So definitely kind of figure out the shape of your face and figure out the best way to apply your blush. I could always make a video on that. I just don't know if that seems kind of silly, but I guess you can let me know in the comments below what you think. <laughs> So I'm actually going to go in and contour my nose because I forgot to do that. So I just take a Morphe E22 brush and I just take the bronzer that I used and I just go lightly down the sides of my nose. I don't really do like harsh contour on my nose. I just do a little bit just to kind of make it a little bit more narrow. I got that uh, 
nice Italian nose where it's a little bit bigger, you know? Add some highlight. I'm gonna do the Anastasia Amrezi highlight, especially with the way the light's hitting me now. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. So we're gonna get these crystals applied. So I have a bunch of different shapes. Like I have little ones, I have big ones. I already spilled these rhinestones all over. So I wouldn't expect anything less of myself. I'm gonna start with my Tartiste Pro Lash Adhesive. So I'm gonna do a little dot of glue right in the inner corner. And that, I think that's where I'm gonna start for both of these. We got the first one on. Oh my god, I love it so far. Have the two right in the inner corner so far. I'm just gonna kind of play around and add them in. So that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed this little mini get ready with me. Um, I had a lot of fun. I'm gonna go figure out what the heck we're gonna do because now it stopped raining so maybe we can go outside for a date. I have no idea what we're actually going to end up doing. I have to ask my boyfriend. But um, this look was super fun to create. Um, I love the rhinestones. I think they were very subtle to add but also just made the look a little bit more fun which was cool if you guys have any requests for videos you'd like to see please leave them down below I would really appreciate it some videos that I know I'm gonna film are how I blow dry my hair because naturally I have very very curly hair so I'm gonna do how I blow dry my hair how I style my hair curly I'm going to do my favorite foundations for oily skin um, I have like a whole list of video ideas and I'm really excited to record them and get this going. This is something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I'm also very into environmental stuff, so I'm really into finding ways to help the environment, um, quote unquote, save the planet, if you will. Um, I'm very into saving the animals that are going extinct. But long story short, yeah, that is kind of what I am, um, what I'm into, and I would just be really excited to share that information with you guys, and hopefully inspire some of you to take small steps, um, just kind of reduce, you know, your impact on the environment. Very into inspiration and motivating yourself, pushing yourself, self-love, confidence. So, if you guys want me to do a video on kind of like how to be more confident, how to love yourself more, how to motivate yourself, how to get to where you want to get to, how to create goal lists, I would love to. So leave me some comments down below, let me know if that would interest you guys at all. I would totally love talking about that stuff. Um, but other than that, yeah, please subscribe if you can. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, which I hope you guys did. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to always be grateful to be alive. Bye, guys. Is this rolling? Oh, yeah, it is. Right now, I'm ready to go right now. Get it because I'm.
actually ready to go. Yep. Get ready, Myth. <clears throat> Get. Okay. I'm out here struggling. 